Team Scorpio's take us for a tour of the pits. It's BattleBots Eve this week in Robot Combat. Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to the show. We're straight into the content and we start with a first look at Jackpot and its lovely new wedge looks looking very fancy indeed. Next, over to Switchback, where they've got two setups for their vertical spinning disc. We'll see them again in a little bit. Tantrum looking very cool this season. They've got some extra little ears on the top to stop things from bouncing up over. Part of my French's crate had disappeared, but I can now tell you that the robot has turned up. Good news. Captain Shredderator showing off three of their domes this season, looking very cool and very prepared. Top plates are the key for Team Pain Train, whose graphics this season are just on point. Fantastic. Team Shatter return this season. They're not showing off anything yet. They're being quite coy about it. We shall wait and see for that one. Team Endgame come every year, apparently, with a flat pack set of their robot. So they've got a build ahead of them. This is Glitch, a new robot we will talk about in just a little bit, as well as we get a look at the CAD. Deadlift return this season with a new clamping and lifting setup, which should be exciting. Minotaur returns this season, but our hearts go out to Daniel Freitas, who has had to return to Brazil. We wish you all the best. Malice returns this season, looking slightly less changed than we thought it would. More on that in just a little bit. Deep Six is back, and this thing is massive and very cool indeed. Looking forward to seeing it in action. Four tombstones come to BattleBots this season. Hopefully that'll be enough to see them all the way through. And finally, Scorpios looking ready for action as well with several different built chassis. Make sure you go and check out the Scorpios BattleBot YouTube channel for more behind the scenes videos coming straight from BattleBots Las Vegas. Exciting news for Jaeger fans as they have confirmed that they are competing at this season of BattleBots. The cluster bot looking very colorful indeed with a new team lineup of Andy Russell, Ralph Schneider and Ed Hodges. Unfortunately, the original team cannot make it. Copperhead returns looking reasonably unchanged, but I know that there has been a lot of work happen under the hood, so make sure you go and check out Robert Cohen's channel for more details. Back now to the aforementioned Glitch, who have shown off a CAD video of the new Egg Beater robot. This thing looks awesome. And a full-on look at the completed Switchback, who we've seen updates of regularly over the last few weeks on the news. It looks great. Defender has been out in the driveway doing some drive testing. Jason Vasquez behind the sticks. If he's anywhere near as good a driver as his brother Matt, this thing could be a force to be reckoned with. And by the looks of things, it looks very well driven indeed. You can see the lifter set up there. Something a little bit unique and different to what we see usually from lifters. But it looks absolutely awesome all the same. Now, unfortunately, we won't see Orion in the 2021 season of BattleBots. The robot brought to us by the same team who brought us Apollo in Robot Wars, unfortunately, won't be competing this year. A flipper we will see in action is Team Seems Reasonable Robotics, the same team that brings us Tantrum. Their new flipper, Blip, which has just thrown the old Tantrum very, very high in the air, and I'm very excited to see it in action. Could it hit the ceiling of the BattleBots this year? Maybe. Of course, earlier on we mentioned four tombstones coming to this season of BattleBots. There's also a whole armory of weapons coming with them, as per usual. They all look very scary indeed, and I'm excited to see Tombstone back in action. The team we won't see in action this season is Bite Force, who have released a full press release over on their Facebook page explaining their reasoning why. Do go and check out the Bite Force page for more details on this. It is worth a read. You can find a link to it and all of the other stories in this week's news over on the World of Woodrow Facebook page. A robot that will be returning this season is Free Shipping. The lifter robot driven by Gary Jin has been part crowdfunded this season, so look out for some extra names on the robot. Rampage will also return this season completely rebuilt from last year. This four-wheel drive vertical spinner looks very nippy indeed and very well put together. Looking forward to seeing it in action. This season of BattleBots will see a return for the awesome lighting, and I thought I would mention this in the news because I really like to look at it. Here we can see Malice on the blue background, and it looks reasonably unchanged this season, Malice, except for the noticeable new tail to stop it from landing on its back. And we've also just had a photo in of Mad Catter getting its hero shot done. 
looking very cool. Now, I don't usually talk about beetle weights on the channel. However, Robo Nerd 2021 will have an excellent number of Classic Wars replicas competing, thanks in part to Team Asimov's Loophole, who are bringing Recyclops, Gemini, Stinger, and Chaos 2 replicas. Simon Harrison is bringing back King Beetle, which has been upgraded from its 2019 outing at Robo Nerd. I'm looking forward to seeing that in action. And finally, though Mike Stropkovic Jr., aka Mr. Psycho, won't be able to come to Robo Nerd in person, he sent along social media frenzy to compete. I'd just like to wish all of the competitors for BattleBots 2021 the very best of luck, put on an excellent show, and we're looking forward to seeing it later this year. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to check out World of Woodrow over on Facebook to keep up to date with all of the latest news, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.